Hi everyone, I'm Brian Shearer and I'm back with another Clip Studio Paint tutorial. I'm going to talk about the Paint Bucket tool and a few things you can do with it that'll speed up your workflow uh, that you may not know it'll do. Uh, when I click on the Paint Bucket or the Fill tool, I've already drawn some shapes here and we have some options when you click on uh, the Tool Property uh, tab. So the first thing we have is apply to connected pixels only. That means it's only going to fill in connected pixels of the same color and stop when it reaches a uh, point where the color changes. So if I click that on and I hit fill, it's going to stop when it sees the white there. Um, so if I click it off and click, it fills in everything. Every pixel that's white gets filled in. Undo that. So the color margin uh, is a neat tool that may save you some time let's say i've got a gray line here and let's say i go and have a lighter one now with the color margin uh what that does is it um we'll take it all the way down to zero let's say i'm going to fill in red okay it's only going to fill in everything that is exactly that color if i take it all the way up to 100 everything that's even close to it in the in a range um, a huge range is going to be filled in so you can play with that and let's say that you need to fill in something that uh, you have a, uh, some gray lines or some colors that you all want filled in, but you they're not all exactly the same shade. You can play with that and see at what point it starts taking in other colors um, that could save you a little bit of time. So one of the things, too, you can do with area scaling that says um, it, how many pixels it's going to expand into other colors. So you can obviously go um, if I if, for example, if you your pen is a softer pen with aliased edges and um, I have a video on that that I'll um, you, can put, you can find in the Clip Studio Paint tutorials. But all that means is that if you zoom in, the edges are kind of fuzzy and gray. It gives it a more natural, easier feel. Anti-aliasing off means it's very pixely. Now, this is this is a lot easier for the paint bucket to to uh, understand right because it's um, area scaling make it zero connected pixels it just stops right at those edges but when here it hits that gray it stops so if you have some penciled lines or things that are softer and grayer what you can do is scale this up a couple pixels and then it's going to cut into it and make that hard line um, you can also do something else that uh, can come in handy, especially if you have like a, a space scene or you know something that's dark against light. Let's say you have a background, right? And then you have a um, you know some things in here. Let's say this is space, right? There's stuff floating around. And then you decide, wait a minute. Um, I kind of like what I've drawn here with maybe what's going on here, but I want to plan it to be right here. But I don't want to lose what I've drawn here. So I'm going to take the paint area scaling and I'm going to make it negative negative two I click on that and it preserves the line because it moves back away and then from here I can go in and maybe you know erase these lines but I've preserved that drawing underneath um, the last little bit that I use an awful lot is the refer to multiple layers so what that does is that takes if I click on all layers it's going to take into account everything that's on every layer and stop if anything on any layer is there so just quickly i'll do this and then it stops even though all the line art's on a different layer okay now that only works if you click on apply to connected pixels only um, in which case it would fill in everything that's that's white okay. all right so um that about uh and of course opacity is pretty self-explanatory makes it lighter or darker or transparent so anyway, those are what I use um, a lot when I'm doing the fill tool. I hope that helps. Leave me a message in the comments. Let me know if there's uh, another aspect um, that you're unsure about or if there's something that you do with the paint bucket tool I didn't cover. Um, and if there's other tutorials you want, let me know. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications and I will see you next time.